Hi, this is JB from Nota Lights over Arkham. This time we are continuing our run through the InSmart Conspiracy campaign and we have the brand new scenario A Light in the Fog to play this time. Uh, last time we managed to get through the horror in high gear with Mary. I made some little mistakes at the end but uh, because InSmart seems to be quite a tough uh, campaign to play as a blind playthrough. There is bound to be some mistakes in the games, but let's not uh, stop that from uh, halting our fun. So I got two experience in the last scenario. I used those experiences to add one shield of faith from the uh, Light in the Fog Mythos pack into Mary's deck. Uh, to make room for that card, I removed one right of sanctification. In this build, uh, I really haven't needed the right of sanctification that much, and the mechanics of these two cards are quite similar. So, for both of these, you seal bless tokens onto the card. So, I think having the shield of faith is more useful as it stops enemies from or cancels enemy attacks. And there are a lot of enemies in this campaign, so I just hope this card would have arrived sooner. But it is what it is. Let's get back into the scenario. Uh, so we are playing uh, Light in the Fog. Uh, just to say why my layout looks like this. I did run a blind playthrough off camera to see how the mechanics work. So to minimize mistakes during filming of this scenario. This will be my <laughs> uh, process from now on, because uh, I filmed some playthroughs and made so bad mistakes that I had to re-film them a couple of times, so I'd rather do it this way than to risk uh, messing up some big rule and having to uh, reshoot the whole thing. Uh, the layout is uh, like this because the map will get a lot bigger, so I need a lot of room on the uh, table for the map. And uh, I am using my new uh, Power Plant Games Kickstarter Asatot playmat, so hope you guys like the upgrade. I'm certainly am enjoying this playmat. Uh, there was nothing wrong with the previous playmat, but maybe in the camera it was too monotone, so uh, things got lost in the uh, playmat. And I'm hoping the play area in this one uh, brings out the cards and the action a bit better, but we'll see. And of course, if you have comments on the playmat or anything else, please leave them down below in the comment section. But uh, other than that, uh, we have this area here for the set aside area. So we have some locations, some encounter cards, uh, these cards that are binded in for some card, and of course the keys. So we have two uh, random keys here, and uh, we have the keys that are showing. I've also set up the bless and curse tokens here, so you can keep track of how many bless and curse tokens are in the bag. Uh, at any given time, but I think that is enough of the deck and scenario, so let's get started. So we have uh, reshuffled the decks, so we can draw our opening hand. Uh, Mary gets uh, six cents, Ward of Radiance. Radiant Smite, uh, Dynamite Blast level 3, and uh, well, pro uh, Ward of Protection. So I'm right away thinking, we well, we need the Sixth Sense to get uh, clues. Uh, we have a clue threshold of 3, and objective spent the required number of clues before the agenda advances. So the agenda has only 4, so we are in a quite big of a rush to get some clues, and uh, then uh, advance the act before the agenda advances. Then 
Uh, hmm. uh, I think I keep the Radiance Might just in case if we get a bad enemy, but the rest of this I'm uh, mulligany. Uh, we really want to find uh, Olive or something else good. Okay, well, we didn't find Olive, but we got Shriveling and we got the Hallowed Mirror and one copy of Promise of Power. So we have some means to fight with and uh, some means to investigate with. So that's really, really a good, good start. I'm thinking I'm uh, gonna keep my hand somewhere here in view from now on to help you guys keep keep track of uh, what what cards I have. Just uh, testing out. I think that's that's an okay position for the hand. And um, I think our first turn will be playing six sense, moving and starting investigating and hoping to find some, some clues fast. Okay, well, first action, we'll use three resources to play six sense. Second action, uh, we'll move to... Okay, so... Uh, these are locations in the same row, so all of them are connected. So we can uh, move from here to anywhere here, but not here. This is only connected from the lighthouse stairwell, uh, just to note that out. So I think I'll just head into the lighthouse stairwell first. There is one clue here, and a trout of three. Lighthouse stairwell cannot be fully flooded. Uh, first trigger ability, if there are any relic story assets currently set aside, add one, uh, add one of them to your hand. Well, uh, unfortunately we didn't get any in the Devil Reef playthrough, so that is that. Uh, last action, we'll try to investigate and just to be sure, I think I'm using the promise of power to guarantee that I hit the requisite uh, number to get this clue. And of course, there's two uh, two blessed tokens uh, in the bag already with the Mary's uh, setup ability. So uh, we are testing 8 versus 3 and we get a minus 1 so we grab this clue and that is our whole turn. No enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw a card, we get clairvoyance so more uh, investigative power but I think that is maybe not that necessary but we'll see and uh, one resource so now we could actually next turn play the shriveling just in case but we'll see what happens so that and of course not to forget we'll add one blessed token into the bag so that is the first turn let's go to the next turn okay so we'll add a doom to the agenda encounter card for this journey uh, we get the hideous lullaby so, if there are no deep one enemies in play, Hideous Lullaby gains search, so we'll just uh, search that. And uh, we get the Rotting Remains. So, I'm testing Willpower 4 vs 3. I'm not committing anything to this test. Uh, we have plenty of uh, sanity to lose, at least for now. And it's a Cultist. Uh, cultist is... Minus two, if you fail after this test ends, increase the float level of your current location. So, unfortunately, we have to add a partially floated uh, token here. And we failed by one, so we take one horror. Okay, nothing that bad yet, but... Uh, I think 
think we could head upstairs to the lantern room now that we are here. So I think first action will move up here. Okay, um, the lantern room is a two shroud location with two clues. A Falcon Point uh, lantern room cannot be loaded. Forced after the lantern room is revealed, place the set aside white key on it. So we find one key and it's behind two clues. So we need to get these clues and that's actually good because now uh, if we get these clues we also have the required number of clues to advance the, uh, gen, uh, the act deck. So, uh, second action. I'm investigating 4 versus 2. So, I have some... Well, I could commit something, but I think I, I have enough time to try without committing anything to the test. So, uh, we get an Elder sign. So we actually add one bless token to the back and also grab one of the clues. Last action we'll try to... Oh yeah, Mary should be over here already. Uh, last action we'll try to investigate again. So four versus two. And we grab a minus one. So the last clue and also the white key is ours. And We'll immediately spend this clues just to um, have enough uh, time to get rid of this. So we find the eavesdropping on the enemy. So we spawn the set aside Osiris Mars enemy in Lighthouse Keeper's cottage, exhausted. Uh, place the set aside blue key on him. So. Uh, we find okay, so we I, I think we shouldn't have <laughs> rust this. Maybe we should have done this next turn, but it is what it is. I think we are trying to kill this guy off to get the blue key now. It's gonna be a hard hard fight, but let's see how that goes. Uh, so this guy spawns uh, over here and uh, he is exhausted so let's say we did this at the end of the round so he doesn't at least <laughs> uh, ready right away and we put the set aside lighthouse basement location into play and uh, lighthouse basement reads if the, uh, the door Leading into the basement of the lighthouse is locked tight. You cannot enter this location unless you confirm the blue key. So we need to get the blue key off of uh, Osiris Mars. And let's look at him actually a bit more closely. So there are a lot of things going on. Uh, he is a 4 fight, 6 health and 2 evade enemy. Humanoid deep 1 hybrid elite. Hunter retaliate. Osiris Mars gets plus 2 evade while his location is plotted. Forced after Osiris Mars is successfully evaded from each point, you succeed by take control of one key on him. Forced after Osiris Mars attacks you during the enemy phase, you are captured. Place each of your keys on Osiris Mars, so this guy will be really, uh, really annoying. And it's a two victory point guy, so... Then... Uh, uh, we advance the agenda directly to agenda 2A, so we uh, skip this agenda. I'll just uh, set it aside. And... Uh, well, we could put it over here like this. So we don't resolve that. So now we have a Doom Threshold of 7, and um, 
this actually reads uh, forced when this agenda advances move all doom on it to the next agenda so we don't remove the doom and this has a threshold of seven there is again the locations on the same row are connected to one another one another forced when an investigator is uh, captured advance this agenda forced when this agenda advances move all doom on it to the next agenda okay i think that is all we need to do here so now we have the finding the path objective if an investigator enters lighthouse basement before the agenda advances advance So we really don't have that much time, maybe we need to try and defeat the, that enemy to get the key and enter the basement, but let, let's see how that goes. Uh, yeah, so we basically uh, did our upkeep, we got the sword cane and one resource and uh, one blessed token into the back at the end of the round. and. Uh, Then we ad advance the acts. So uh, that is that turn, a uh, quite long setup turn, but it is what it is. And uh, let's go to the next turn. So we had another doom here. The encounter card for this turn is uh, totality. Test willpower three. If you fail, put totality into play in the threat area. After you enter a flooded location, take one horror and. At the end of your turn, we discard totality. So I'm testing uh, four versus three. Oh yeah, I think this guy should have read it. Yeah. So four versus three. Uh, it's a minus one because if your location is flooded, reveal an additional chaos token where it isn't. So uh, we pass this test. So I think this turn uh, we are setting up to fight uh, fight the enemy next turn. So I'll play down the reveling. And uh, I'll gain one resource, and I'll also play the Hallowed Mirror. So uh, we'll get one copy of Soothing Melody into hand, and we'll shuffle two in the deck. We'll shuffle our deck. Then uh, we continue. So that is our uh, player turn. So enemy turn. This um, Osiris Mars hunts here. Uh, upkeep. We draw a card. We get the Ward of Protection. We gain one resource. And uh, we add one blessed token into the bag. I may have forgotten last turn, but it is what it is. I'm not sure, so I'm not adding it. So, uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, so we add a Doom to the agenda. We are 3 of 7. The encounter card for this turn is Deep One Assault. Uh, disengage from each Deep One enemy at your location. Each Deep One enemy at your location and each connecting location engages you. So this guy actually engages us. I'll keep the enemies around here. Okay, and uh, if no enemies engage you from this effect, uh, well, we, we got uh, Osiris Mars. Uh, this actually saved us uh, quite a bit of time. So now we can try to kill this guy off. So. 
Okay, well, uh, first action. We will uh, use our shriveling. I think I'm committing... We are fighting 4 versus 4. So I'll commit Ward Protection and Soothing Melody for this test to go 6 versus 4. Uh, we hit a bless, so we are uh, 8 versus 4 at the moment. And uh, we get Elder Thing, which is a minus 4. Uh, moved if you fail. Well, we don't fail, we lose the 1 bless, but we'll hit. Uh, we'll take 1 horror from the shriveling, but we deal 2 damage to Osiris. Okay, um, next we'll try to Radiant Smite this guy, and I am uh, using three blessed tokens from the back to seal them on here. Okay, so. Uh, we are hitting, this gives us plus 3 fight, or uh, plus 3 uh, will, and we are using our will to fight, so 7 versus 4, and we also have plus 3 damage, so this should kill off Osiris. Okay, and a minus 1, so this go uh, get removed, but we deal 4 damage here. So, Osiris Mars is defeated, we get his key, we'll put Osiris into the victory display, uh, let's keep a victory display over here, for example, and uh, that is that, that went quite well, actually. So now we have the blue and the white key, last action. Uh, we'll come down from the lantern house, uh, lantern room, and that is our whole turn. Uh, no enemies. We go to upkeep, we draw Olive, which is a really nice card to get. Uh, we add one plus token and one resource. So now we have maybe Olive for next turn. And if we get a bad enemy that we want to evade, we have the sword gaining. On the ready, but uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another doom and counter cards for this turn is uh, another hideous lullaby. We have no enemies in play, so it searches and we get the deep one ball. Well, that is quite annoying. Uh, nothing we can do about that. I think this turn, well, this guy spawns on us. So after an inv after the deep one pull engages you, choose and discard one card from your hand. I think I'm discarding the clairvoyance. We have the six sense in play, so we really don't need that. Yeah, so first action is to play down the sword cane. So I can trigger the free uh, evading ability on it without paying its cost. And it doesn't cause attacks of opportunity. So I'm evading 4 versus 2. We, uh, we could commit olive, but I think we need olive around. Uh, we hit a plus and a zero. I'll use the covenant to keep the uh, bless in the bag, but we'll evade this guy. Second action, uh, we'll actually move to the lighthouse keeper's cottage. Yeah. 
so there are two clues here. Uh, it's a four shot location. Uh, after Lighthouse Keeper's Cottage is revealed, place the set aside yellow key on it. Four shroud, two clues, one victory point. Okay, so we put the yellow key here. Two clues. And again, this is connected to all of these locations, so we can uh, ignore the bull who is uh, exhausted over here. Luckily, uh, last action. I think I'm trying to investigate here. Four versus. Uh, hmm. Yeah, uh, I'll try it once. Well, well, it's my last action, so it's either move or just investigate. So we are. Uh, Investigating 4 versus 4. So we get a plus 1. We get one clue from here. And that is our turn. Enemy face, nothing happens. Upkeep, we ready this. Cards, we gain one card. We get uh, drawn to the flame. <laughs> well, uh, one turn too late. We add one bless token and get one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are at doom. We are at five of seven, so we really need to get to the basement sometime soon. But let's see uh, the encounter card for this turn. It is undertow. This can search. We are in a location that is not flooded. Uh, we get the lurking deep one. Okay. Well, when the lurking deep one engages us, uh, we'll take one damage. So, really piling on the enemies. First action, I'm using the sword cane to evade this guy. Uh, I'm actually only evading 4 versus 4, so maybe I'll just try to... Well, uh, if I kill it, this deep one bull will hunt us down. Well, uh, I try to evade it. I have to kill it if, if that doesn't work out. Uh, so, 4 versus 4, we get a 0. Uh, we evade this guy. Uh, then, I think we are evading. If we don't hit this evade... Actually, uh, let's not risk... Uh, well, let's... <laughs> Hard, hard choices with uh, only four, four. I think um, I'm committing this, so I'm at one up. There are a lot of skulls and minus ones in the back, so that uh, five versus four is a much better odds. Okay, a minus one. And we get the clue, we get this uh, yellow key. Last action, let's uh, run away. Uh, we'll go to the Falcon Point cliffside. And uh, it has one clue. Oh, it doesn't have a clue. And uh, let's see this a bit closer. So, uh, one clue and shroud of one. Falcon Point hillside cannot be fully floated. Fast trigger ability if you control the white key. Using the white key, you appear in the dark stormy horizon and something sparks in your memories. Read flashback uh, 12 in the campaign guide. So we actually don't even need this clue from here. So let's check the campaign guide. So flashback uh, 12. I'm not reading the fluff text. It's a quite long fluff text for the flashback. But uh, we record in our campaign guide under memories recovered, uh, record a conversation with Mr. Moore, and we get to choose to remove one uh, cultist, tablet, or elder thing token from the back. And uh, we also 
the lead investigator gains one clues per investigator from the token pool. So if we actually get one clue from this, then I think because the elder things are minus four and we have only one in the back, it's a good idea to get rid of that. I could only find that. So we, we still have one uh, tablet and two cultists in the back. So where is it? Okay, so we remove this Elder Tin token from the Chaos Pack for the remainder of the campaign. That is our turn. Uh, no enemy movements or anything like that. We go to upkeep. Uh, this guy readies. And we draw a card. We get the Guardian Angel. We put one less token into the back. Gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 6 of 7 Doom. Encounter card is hideous lullaby. If, uh, now we have deep on enemies in play. So find the deep on enemy with the highest fight value. Test willpower X, where X is that enemy's fight value if you fail to take two horror. Well, again, this is not that bad if we fail. Uh, I'm testing against the Bulls 4, so 4 vs 4, not committing anything to this test. And we get a minus 2, we fail, we have to take 2 horror, but we have plenty of horror left still, so not that big of a deal. The main thing is that none of those enemies engaged us, so uh, now we have a, uba uh, uh, a difficult choice, because when we engage with the deep one bull, we have to discard a card. I think we need Olive more now. So I'll play Olive. We will uh, move here. Actually... Uh, let's do this a bit different. So I'll actually Is there any way to for me to well We'll take one attack of opportunity. So uh, I'm actually playing the guardian angel now Because I can take the damage on the Guardian Angel and get the more blessed tokens in the back. So we'll lose actually Olive when we engage with the bull. Because we have to use our last action to move down into the basement. So we reveal Sunken Grotto, upper depths. It's a two shard location with zero clues. Fast trigger ability. Investigators at this location spend one clues per investigator as a group. Look at the revealed side of a tidal tunnel location on this row. Okay, and uh, there are no tidal tunnel locations here, but and uh, we took two damage, and I'll put them on Guardian Angel, and I'll add two blessed tokens into the back. And. Uh, Yeah, we are engaged with this uh, deep on bull. So uh, we'll advance the act. Um, we advance, exploring the depths. If of Sarah's Mars in, is in play, add him to the victory display. Okay. Well, he is in the victory display. Put Sunken Grotto lower depths into play directly below Sunken Grotto upper depths and Sunken Grotto final depths under into play directly below Sunken Grotto lower depths. Then go to random, set aside title, turn on locations into play until there are exactly four locations on each row, except for the row in the with the lantern room, so the upper 
the top location. And there is a diagram in the campaign guide. Shuffle each set aside copy of taken captain into the encounter deck. Advance the agenda directly to agenda 3A. Do not resolve agenda 2A. So we advance this and again when we advance this the doom stays in play. And uh, the tide rises. Uh, we have a doom treasure of 10. And locations in the same row are connected to one another. And now uh, we actually, if we advance this, we get rid of the doom. But <laughs> uh, yeah. So now we have the worshippers of the deep. Post at the end of the investigation phase, each investigator at fully flooded location must take three damage or move to the location directly below their location objective. If each undefeated investigator has resigned, advance hint, you may wish to find what you came for before you leave this place. The black and red keys represent the objects you need the most. And those are actually the only keys we still haven't found that are revealed. So, we shuffle these uh, tidal tunnel locations up. And as I said, this map will get quite big. So now it does. So again, all the locations in one row are connected, so it really doesn't matter how we place these. We can move freely between those. Then we get the lower depths here and the final depths here. So these are connected uh, uh, with the markers and these are the rows are connected. Okay, so I hope we get the whole map in the view. The lantern number is not that important because we probably won't be backtracking there anymore. Uh, that is the end of the investigation phase, enemy phase, this uh, deep one pull hits us. I'll take one damage here and one damage on Guardian Angel. And uh, we'll add one blessed token into the back. Then upkeep, we draw a card, uh, Radiant Smite. We could actually try to kill off this uh, deep one bull now, but we'll see. And one blessed token and one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a doom. So we are at 8 of 10 to doom. Encounter card for this turn is... It's a deep one hatchling. Oh dear. So... This guy engages us and it has surge. So after you engage deep one hatchling, you must either lose one action or it attacks you. I'll let it attack me. Then it searches. Oh my god, another one. Uh, <laughs> So at least this guy doesn't attack us if we kill off these guys. Okay, well... I think I will take the aura again. This is uh, most unfortunate. We might be di dying here. <laughs> okay, and the last is a uh, kiss of... Brian. So test uh, strength 2, increase the difficulty of test by 2 if you are in flood location, take 1 damage if we fail. Uh, I'm testing uh, 3 versus 2. It's a minus 1, I pass so nothing happens, thank god. I really hate these deep 1 hatchlings, they are quite annoying. So first action will just uh, 
hit one of these guys, 3 vs 2. Yeah, I need to. These. So, 3 vs 2. Uh, Elder Sign, we had a plus token, this guy is dead. Uh, nearest deep one enemy readies and in game moves one location, so this guy is just on us. And uh, we'll hit again. Just killing off these hatchlings. So crazy. It's a minus one, so this guy is dead. And again, the bull is already on us. So last action, we'll try to evade the bull with using the sword cane. It's a plus one. So this guy is evaded. And uh, he could actually check out this whole row now. So I'll use all of the clues here to check what locations we have. Uh, I'll check uh, first this one. It's an uh, underwater cavern. So we look at the reveal side so we don't put them in play. So we don't necessarily want to go there. And deeper nursery. Uh, there is a flashback here, and we need to control the purple key, which we don't. So I'm not sure if we are going into here. And uh, sunken archives. So after sunken archives is revealed, it becomes fully flooded. Place the set aside black key on it. So we definitely need to go get that black key from here next uh, turn, maybe. Uh, but uh, uh, we can't discover clues if it's flooded and it becomes fully flooded. So we uh, probably need to go reveal that and uh, some later time. So uh, upkeep. Uh, enemy face, nothing happens. Upkeep, this guy readies. We lose one card, we gain one card. And uh, we have no blessed tokens to add, so we'll get one resource and that is that turn let's go to the next turn we add a doom we are at 8 of 10 doom encounter card please don't be an enemy <laughs> well it is an enemy oh my god how unfortunate is this and we take one damage because the sky engages us this might be the end for us okay well have to think about this well we, we really need to evade uh, both of these and move out well we have to start using the sword cane and i'm invading the lurking deep one uh, we are never getting back to this <laughs> floor again i presume um, so we are I'm committing this one, so 5 versus uh, 4. Curse, not looking good. And a minus 1, so we fail. There goes the sword cane. Okay, well. Evading 5 versus uh, 4 versus 4. Actually, I'll try to evade. Um, I'll kill this guy off first. So I'm using the shriveling. Uh, 4 versus 2. 0. At least this guy dies. Uh, this guy is already on us, so nothing happens. And last action, we'll have to evade this uh, deep one bull. 3 versus. It's a bless. <laughs> And a plus one, I'll use, well, really doesn't matter, but I'll anyway use the Covenant to return this blessed token. So this guy is evaded, uh, enemy face, uh, it readies, engages us, and upkeep, we draw a card, deny existence, glad to see you, and one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are at 9 Doom of 10. Encounter card is 
Kiss of Brian. Okay, so I'm testing willpower. Uh, strength 3 versus 2. Minus 4. We have to deny existence the damage from this one. So this goes into play in our threat area. We cannot draw cards or gain resources this turn. Well, uh, well that is life. Uh, first action will is already so we'll use the sword gain to evade this uh, deep one pull. Uh, evading four versus two, we get a bless and uh, minus one. So I'm using the covenant. So finally we get uh, evaded and we can move. So I'll move one lower to the sunken grotto lower depths. Uh, three shroud location with zero clues, fast trigger ability, investigators at this location, spend one clues per investigators group, look at their wheel side of a tidal tunnel location in this row. And uh, last action, we'll just check out one of these. Okay, so we fight the Shrine of Hydra, it's a five shroud location with two clues. Clues cannot be discovered from Shrine and to Hydra except by investigating. While an investigator at Shrine of Hydra controls the green key, Shrine of Hydra gets minus 3 shroud. So we get uh, set aside red key on it, two clues, and uh, we could try to investigate. So end of the turn, this goes away. Upkeep, this guy readies. Uh, we gain one resource and draw a card, hopefully. Uh, actually, this is really good. Now we can investigate here using our intellect and willpower. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, the Doom Threshold is reached, so this advances. And now we remove all the Doom from here. So, locked in. Search all out of play areas for Oreseros, Mars, and spawn him in the sunken grotto upper depths. So, uh, I'm really not sure because it's in the victory display. Is that uh, out of play area? I'm playing it as it is not that we don't spawn him from the it it hmm. I think it's it is an out of play area so we unfortunately don't get him as a victory we should have uh, resigned or something so this guy uh, spawns if I'm wrong uh, let me know in the comments but I think even the victory point area is the is an out of play area. So this guy spawns here. So can grab their upper depths, yeah. Remove each Falcon Point location from the game, add them to the victory display. If there are victory X and no clues on them, move each enemy and investigator at those locations to some grotto upper depths. This guy moves here. So uh, these all are removed. These don't have victory. And this has victory. This has victory. And now we can push this map up a bit. Okay. Each other card those locations is discarded. Find the four bottommost locations that can have their flood level increased. Increase each of those flood levels. So the lower, the lowest uh, level is uh, partially flooded. Okay. And that is that. Then uh, terror at Falcon Point. Cyrus Mars gets plus two health. 
locations on the same row are connected to one another. Beware, the scenario may not end when this agenda advances, but the tide will continue to rise. Okay. So, um, encounter card. CCG. Uh, I think I'm losing three resources. So we have a choice here. Peril, Revelation, you must decide, choose one. Each investigator loses three resources. Each investigator takes two horror or place one doom on the current agenda. I'll lose the resources. First action, I'll play the... Uh, read the signs. I just barely have resources for it. So I'm investigating uh, six... Uh, yeah, six versus five. So I'm hoping to hit a bless or something like that, which we do. So let's see. And a plus one will actually can use the covenant to return the bless token. We'll grab both of these, and uh, we get the red key, and we'll move here. I'll spend this as a fast trigger ability to check out these locations. Uh, we have the tidal pool and one, we get one random location there. And uh, okay, so we need to get down to the lower area. So last action will move down to the sunken grotto final depths. And again, we can check out these, these locations. Uh, enemy face, uh, Osiris hunts here. Upkeep, we draw a card. Not helpful, we gain one resource. And no plus tokens to be added, so this, this should be already. That is that turn, let's go to the next turn. So, we had a doom, uh, one of three. Encounter cards for this turn. Tidal alignment, peril. Choose a location where there is at least one investigator. Increase that location flood level. Each investigator at that chosen location takes one damage. Well, damn it. So we uh, we can't do anything about this. This flood level just uh, rises. We take one damage, which is enough, unfortunately, to defeat us. Okay, so my camera ran out of battery and I was uh, talking for a long time uh, for the post-game post, <laughs> post -game wrap up for this uh, game. So uh, we'll do that again. So uh, Sister Mary got defeated. Uh, let's read the resolution. So we get... Uh, because we, it's Agenda 4 and we got defeated, we get the Resolution 3. You panic as the water rises all the way to the ceiling of the cavern. There is no air left to breathe. You feel the current pulling you deeper and deeper below the surface, where the bulging, glowing eyes of the deep ones lie in wait. Desperately, you swim up to the cellar door of the lighthouse. Your only hope is to force it open and crawl up into the building above, where sweet oxygen awaits. You shove and push with all of your might, hoping, imagining, praying that any moment now your strength will spring the hatch open. Your lungs are about to burst. No, this cannot be the end. You struggle and fight for survival, but the lock does not budge. Hungry for air, your lungs give. Your throat fills with cold sea water. The sensation of your ankles being gripped by webbed hands is the last thing you feel. Each investigator is killed. The investigators lose the campaign. Okay, so this unfortunately is the end for Mary. Uh, we can't even continue the campaign with another investigator because we also lose the campaign. But let's uh, quickly run down what we should have done before to get a better result. So uh, we should have found the moon room. The moon room is the location to resign, but it is flooded, so you need to find a room to empty the uh, fluid tokens it, uh, from it. So we need to find the pump room. Uh, we had the. Uh, there is a test to over the. Um, 
blood tokens of, of there. Uh, we had the luck of them being right next to each other, but uh, we got the treachery that kills us and we didn't have any soap in play, so that is that. Um, yeah, I, I really like this campaign, but for System Mary, uh, the five health is quite a burden. I didn't get any of my uh, good soap cards for damage in play in the time. Well, I got uh, Guardian Angel right at the start, but it was used. Uh, <coughs> enchanted armor would have saved me there. Also, uh, earlier when I was fighting the Deep on Bull, the Shield of Fate would have saved me there. But yeah, uh, it's of course a bit hard to build your deck. Uh, when the cycle is not complete, you don't have the whole uh, card pool for the blessed mechanic. For example, it's system area right at the start, so you can plan out the deck that well. I also started this campaign before the new table list, so I couldn't make this uh, Winchester Mary build, which I already played in another campaign. I really liked that, and that deck worked much better. I could have just blasted all of these. Uh, Deep ones to smithereens with the Winchester. I really hope to play this campaign again with another investigator so that I can pass this scenario and film probably, if not uh, with another investigator, then as uh, separate standalone games with an ex uh, investigator, the last two mythos packs from this cycle, so you guys can see how those scenarios play out. But I think that is enough of uh, talk. Uh, unfortunately, Mary was drowned and pulled uh, into the depths by deep ones. So uh, thanks for watching and hope you guys have better luck in this scenario. And as always, until next time.